Welcome to VRPR. So today we are going to run ACC on RTX 4090. The testing system is Ryzen 9 7950X with 64 gig of 6000 megahertz DDR memory. I will be using Pico 4 and Quest 2 as well as a single screen monitor of 1440p. We will use uh, both DLSS and native resolution. And again, I do not have my CSL DD connected, so I will be using a keyboard and mouse. So let's get on with it. So for ACC, I am running 1440p and all of the settings are epic uh, dlss and fsr both are disabled so let's see how many frames we can get all right so we are getting about 289 frames 315 frames whoa on a single screen with 1440p resolution epic settings that's a really good frame rate. All right. So on average, I would say that we are getting about 270, 272 frames per second on ACC on Epic settings. So now we are going to turn on the DLSS. We are going to put it in quality DLSS sharpening. I don't need any. Click apply back. Let's do a sing single player start session nothing much has changed i'm still getting almost the same frame rate actually i'm getting a little bit lower frame rate isn't it 210 225 all right so dlss on i am getting around 200 50 270 frame rates that ain't bad all right let's change the setting of dlss to performance let's change the dlss to performance okay with performance i am getting around 300 frames per second that's not bad oh 218 to 20 hmm not that big of a difference um yeah i, I do see the difference now uh quality wise i really do see the difference not not that much when you're driving with a vr headset i don't think you'll notice that much of a difference but if you pay attention then yes you can i, I would gladly sacrifice this kind of quality over frame rate all right so let's turn down the resolution to 1080p and leave everything um at epic and let's try now Okay, so I am getting about two, 220, 230 frames per second on 1080p. Not that big of a difference from 1440p. Okay, let's turn on the uh, DLSS and see how much better we can get. 
All right, let's turn on the DLSS and we are going to do quality. Okay, so. Uh, okay, I cannot make sense of this. I'm getting less frames. All right, that is pretty strange, but sure. So 260, 270, well now 250. Okay, not that big of a difference. So, but quality is almost the same. I'm gonna try to put them side by side, but yeah, not that big of a difference. Uh, let's try to get it on uh, VR and see how many frames do we get. All right. All right. So we are in VR mode and I am running my Pico 4. The settings are Epic VR and I am getting about 80, 80 frames per second. So let's continue. All right, dipping below about 62, 64, 63 frames per second. That's not that bad. All right, let's try to turn on the DLSS. Okay, so we have the DLSS turned on, um, quality, and now we're getting about 70, 65 to about 70 frames per second. Oh, again, 80 frames, okay. So currently our average is around 75 frames per second. All right. Let's turn down the settings to VR high. Okay, so the settings now is VR high and I am getting about 90 frames per second. So this is a Pico 4, right? So I cannot get more than 90 frames per second. So I'm pretty sure if I plug in my Quest 2, I would get about 120 frames per second. All right, I think that's the max, right? So let's do one thing. Let's do Epic and try to change the settings to anti-aliasing, FXAA, anti-aliasing high, and shadow distance high. I think that should be good enough. I'm not changing any other settings. And let's see how many frames am I getting. Okay, 66, 60 frames per second. The picture is pretty soft for some reason. I'm, I'm using the vi uh, wireless, right? Not the USB. So most probably that's why, but sure. So let's go ahead and use the Quest 2 and see how many frame rates we can get. All right, so we are connected to the Quest 2 and Man, there is a difference. This is extremely sharp. It's it's a lot better than Pico 4. I am getting about 48, 50 frames per second. But the images, image quality is actually better than Pico for some reason. 
I was assuming that the Pico's resolution is high, so it should give me a better image, but wow. Wow, that is a huge difference. Yeah. Okay, frame rates are not that great. I'm getting about 40, 45 frames per second. 50 sometimes, but... But the image quality, it is pretty sharp. Not sure what... Why? But... Okay. This is a little strange, but sure. All right, let's try to do a VR high and see how many frames can we get. So this is VR high without any uh, DLSS or any uh, changes. And the image is still pretty good. And I'm getting about 45 to about 80 frames per second. Okay, let's turn on the DLSS. I have selected balance, and now I'm getting around 90 frames per second. Okay, that's not bad. 80, 74. Okay, with ultra performance, I see a lot of uh, artifact. I see like kind of black artifact, black spots on the screen. I am getting about 93, 98 frames per second, but the quality is not that good. Okay, with some uh, epic um, changes in for in the settings. I think we can get about 90 frames per second. Let's go towards the lowest setting and see if we can hit 120 frames per second. All right, let's try it. So yeah, I have the VR low now and I am hitting about 100 frames per second. Um, 105, 101. Okay, I think if we turn on the DLSS, most probably we can get a little bit better frame a uh, little better but little, little, little better frames but yeah here we go guys acc with single monitor pico 4 and the quest 2 have a nice day